Come with me from Philadelphia to Liberia in West Africa. So here is the 30th Street Fate Station. Your girl got on the wrong train. They kicked me the hell off. I got super flustered because I thought I was going to miss my flight. But thank God there was this older gentleman and he liked helped me um, to tell me what to do. And I found out that the train goes to BWI. I literally had no clue. Once I got to Union Station, I transferred over to Metro Center. And then um, I went to the Silver Line. That was $6. And my Amtrak ticket was $38. I will recommend this method of getting to the airport for someone that has a carry-on. If you have a check bag, I mean, it's not impossible. It's just a little bit inconvenient. But here I am finally arriving at Dulles. And then I had a long layover in Morocco, which was horrible. But finally, I got to Liberia. Yay! <laughs> So Liberia is what you would call a developing nation. It's one of the more poorer countries in the world, but I don't think that someone should um, focus on that. Liberia has a very rich, unique history, and I think that you need to probably learn about their history before visiting because um, it kind of explains why everything is the way it is, and, um, and you will fall in love like I did. <laughs> Hey guys, I have been doing a horrible job of like recording clips for vlogs. I'm not good at vlogs. Um, I think, I don't know. I, I don't know. I want to do people watch vlogs, especially like if you're not a popular YouTuber. I don't know. But I'm in Liberia currently. I'm relaxing and um, I'm going to the beach. I did a few things yesterday and the day before, but like I didn't record anything. Um, the day before was my friend's wedding, and yesterday was, if you are friends with any like West Africans, they do a cookout, like a wedding cookout. So yesterday was a wedding cookout. It was a lot going on. Um, I should have recorded, but I didn't. But anyways, today's beach day, like I said. So we're gonna go to this um, resort hotel thing called RLJ. They make this banging like barbecue chicken. The last time I had went, they didn't have it, but let's pray, fingers crossed, that they have it today. Um, I just wanna go drink, relax. This is what Liberia is about for me, like relaxing. It, the minute I land in this part of the world, my whatever anxiety I was facing, whatever stressors I had going on, like immediately disappear. Um, I just, it just relax. This is like a relaxing place for me stress-free zone this is my I'm, I'm doing an apartment um i it's a little messy right now i'm not comfortable showing my apartment um until i clean it up so i think i'm going to clean it up and give you guys let me just show you guys uh, it's a i'm just gonna have to clean up a little bit um and then come back to you guys with a little tour of what my apartment is. I guess I'll discuss cost. Um, I don't know what else you guys want to know, but um, when I get to the beach, I'm going to do some more recording. Um, just to show you what a stress-free day looks like in this part of the world, Liberia. And the current just went off, the electricity just went off. Despite all of that, I still love it here. But um, the electricity goes off often. It's the normal part. They have their, um, what's the word? How do I say it? The infrastructure, it, th this is a developing country. Um, the infrastructure is back on. The infrastructure is not the best. Like I said, I still love it here and I come here every year. Um, but yeah, I the AC went off. So that means that I have to cut the AC back on. <laughs> So this is what you see when you enter the resort, RLJ. So I was so frustrated when I got here because I learned that everything had totally changed about this resort. Um, their food options and beverage options were limited. Um, it was super duper empty. <laughs> I'm telling you, we were the only ones that were there. Um, 
it the the building had just everything just looked really run down it looks like no money was being put into like keeping the whole thing together they said that like um you know what is it called like it's low season and it hasn't been getting a lot of visitors but still like the property is just so beautiful and with the right investor it really could be something huge after the beach i went to a cigar lounge until around 10 and i went to sleep i have been neglecting youtube um i've been just getting a lot of content for tiktok <laughs> um the last time I think I filmed, I had went to the beach. Yesterday, I just went and I, got, I ate all day. So I guess it wasn't that much. It wasn't that serious. But I really, today, um, I am going to go to the store to get some stuff. I guess I'll take y'all with me to see what the store looked like. I want some um, stuff, detergent to wash some stuff. I'm going to wash like some stuff here in the, in, the, in the apartment. I could find somebody easily to wash it, but... I don't feel like it. Um, and I want to go, my throat has been bothering me. Like, I want to get sick. So, I want to get pepper soup. If you know any Africans, it's this very, very spicy soup um, that is perfect for when you're sick. I'm not 100% sure about the pepper soup yet, but as for right now, and I was thinking about getting on a motorbike to go somewhere. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But, I realized that I have been neglecting um, you. Let me try to move this. That I've been neglecting YouTube. By the way, this is what the outside of my apartment looks like. I kind of cleaned it up. As a matter of fact, I kind of did. So um, that's the when you come in. The microwave. I'm happy. I just remember the microwave is not like when I plug it in, it doesn't stay in the hole. Um, that's the fridge, that's my dining thing, and um, this TV needs like, they, in Africa you need to have like a service connected to the TV to get um, TV, I forgot what it's called, DSTV is a big provider, like a cable service kind of, sort of, and I don't have the box even to watch the DSTV, so it don't matter. Um, this is a one bedroom, two bathroom. That is the guest bathroom. And that's my bedroom with my own bathroom in there. Cause you know, I guess you don't want people obviously coming into, oh, that's the ceiling, your space. But yeah, um, I'm gonna take you guys to the supermarket with me, I guess. And um, bye. I need a spoon, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anything. So let me show y'all something. Maybe I had it backwards, but it's $15. That's nuts. I just wanted something to munch on. The other one, $13. I've never heard of that brand. Looks like some type of Lebanese. This is what I came for. This is a dollar. their clothes. 60 cents is not bad. I'm going to do a price comparison um, to what by the way a lot of these products are old. This $8 no, no way. Um this Palmer's product, $13. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is old. I went to this hotel to get the pepper soup when I ran into my friends. So I spent the rest of the day with her. 
today is Thursday, I think the 19th, and I just went out for breakfast. I was here for a little bit, so I just ordered a daiquiri. I'm a basic girl. By the way, they sell a lot of like fake, <coughs> fake alcohol in this part of the world. I I have slowed down on drinking their alcohol because you don't you never know if where you are they're giving you real or fake alcohol. Sometimes you feel funny afterwards. Also, my friend was sick and I was around her and I started getting sick about three days ago. I forgot what day that was. The good thing is I brought medicine with me. It would be nice if I dedicated a day to YouTube. Like actually, <coughs> who's calling me? Oh no, look, I'm gonna move my hand. Look at my phone. Oh, I think I already showed you on my phone. Y'all know my phone. Look at me. Oh, shut up. But yeah, I'm gonna find something to do. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I don't. My original plans for the day changed. I don't know what to do with myself. Um. I'm gonna go and do some writing. Um, I ate some things. So I'm just probably gonna drink some things and, and, and nibble. Is that the right word, nibble? Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go sit to the restaurant that's near my apartment and just write, watch. I wanna, I wanna people watch. My lips are dry. I tend to sit outside whenever I'm here. I like to be nosy. My hair looks crazy. I haven't styled it since I've been here, so yeah. <laughs> I didn't bring a hot, a hot comb and it doesn't make sense not having a hot comb, but today is my last day. I'm here eating breakfast. Um, I have to call the company to take me to the airport. I have to pay the guy for my apartment. I just have really two things to get done. My suitcase broke. My suitcase handle broke. I need to get some kind of tool to put the screws back in. Also, I want to invest in better travel gear, um, luggages, I guess. For some reason, whenever I think of quality, um, I feel like I look crazy. Whenever I think of quality luggages, I think of Samsonite, that, that brand Samsonite. So I am going to look into getting some Samsonite luggage. I feel like I look like a wild animal. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm here eating breakfast. I ordered some stuff and I'm waiting on it to come out. Then I'm gonna go back and start packing. I haven't started. I haven't started packing yet. The restaurant brought my food out of order so I wasn't able to record um, the food for you guys. But my flight back home was awesome. Like it wasn't packed so I had like the whole road to myself. That's like the best. I was knocked out. Um, everything went by super quickly and here I am touching it down in America. I am so happy to be home. Bye.